Hi everyone, a little change of scenery. I just am tired of laying or sitting on my bed. So here I am on my floor. <laughs> Today I am actually going to talk about my nipple piercing, which you can't even see. Yay! But um, it's a little late, but it has officially been a year and some change since I have gotten it. And this is what I've learned about it, I guess. So here we go. I have had my nipple piercing for a year. I have made, I think, two videos about it. I made one when I just got it. I made one six months later, and this is the one year update. So as of right now, my nipple is not bothering me. However, I think like a couple days ago, it might have been like bleeding a little bit because I was like going like this and I was like scratching my nipple and of course your nipple is sensitive and I think it's more sensitive than when there's like a piece of metal through it and so it was like bleeding a little bit and then I showered and it hurt and I was just like ow so that happened but basically it doesn't really bother me at all anymore like the hole is still kind of like a little bit larger than it should be and I think that's because I'm always like pulling on it and just like poking at it because I got a big nipple okay and my piercer warned me about it before I got it done but there just stuff comes out of it okay it's kind of just like when you get your ear pierced you get ear cheese. When you get anything pierced, you get anything piercing cheese. And it's the same thing. Like, your nipple, like my nipple is a nip, my nipple is pierced, so I get nipple piercing cheese. It's not really like a cheese though from your nipple, it's more of like a lymphatic liquid, which is kind of like clear ish, but also like white ish. And that is just completely normal um but totally gross and I don't know what I'm gonna do when I am romantically involved with somebody and then like things just come out of my nipple when things are happening yeah so it doesn't um bleed as much it doesn't hurt as much or it doesn't hurt at all I will say that sometimes I get really lazy and I don't like clean it as much as I should and so the lymphatic fluids um I don't even know if it's a lymphatic fluid I'm just calling it that but it is like stuff that comes out of my nipple comes out of people's nipples apparently and not breast milk but um it just does that like it just does and like, if you don't clean it, it, like, dries up, and then, like, your nipple bar gets stuck in your nipple, and then you, like, pull it by accident, and then it starts bleeding. So, that's how that happens. So, sometimes it still kind of gets irritated, only because it is my fault, and I don't take care of my piercing the way that I'm supposed to only because I'm just that person that believes like once piercings heal that's it I don't have to do anything with it which is totally untrue you should always be taking care of your piercings you should always be cleaning them however I don't care enough and I should because it's your nipple which is like connected to like a lot of other important things in your breast and in your body because it's you know in this area so I should probably do that but I don't <laughs> and so other than that it is totally fine and um, I can't really hope that it's going to stop because my piercer did say my piercer is a woman by the way she did say that she had her nipples pierced like six times 
and she didn't have them pierced at the time of our conversation and she's just like I've had them out for a year and when I squeeze it stuff still comes out of it and I'm just like ew okay so I can't really hope that this problem is going to go away because I was told right up front that this will happen and it will always happen um, forever, like indefinitely. So I'm not expecting it to go away anymore. So that is pretty much the only one thing that I have like bothering me at this point. And it's not really even them, it's not even bothering me. It's just like a thing that happens that I have to live with that is a source of slight irritation. Not like actual irritation, but I'm just irritated when it happens because like, ew, like there's stuff coming out of my nipple and I'm not lactating. But other than that, it is completely 100% fine. I have debated on changing the bar to like a more decorative one because it's just that regular bar with the two metal beads and I wanted one with like the bar and then like the three like Swarovski stones on either side. But I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to keep it the way it is for right now. Um, there's no real reason to switch it unless I feel like impressing myself, which I don't because I'm impressed with myself <laughs> enough already. Um, and that's pretty much the story of my nipple piercing. Now... If you guys remember my old story, old stories, old videos, I only have this nipple pierced, which means this side isn't done yet. And I was going to pierce the other side after this one healed, but right now I'm kind of okay with just having one. And also, thinking about how much it hurt for like a week afterwards isn't really that appealing. Like, I got things to do, like I can't be walking around like holding my titty for a week straight again. Um, so right now I think I'm going to hold off on the left side, especially because I'm doing so many sports and I'm so active now that like there's no way I can be like running and jumping um, with like a new bar through my booby because I'm going to be like this the entire time and I don't want to do that, nor will I be able to do that. So for right now, I'm going to leave the left nipple alone and just leave the right one the way it is. And I'm just going to be uneven and happy with myself with a one nipple piercing. Um, and that's really pretty much it. So when I said last time that like my nipple, like the, the bar, like the hole was like bigger because I don't know like nipples are soft and they stretch really easily I guess um, I didn't gauge up and I don't think that I will but like the gap hasn't shrunk either so I don't really know what to do about that it's definitely not rejecting but the hole is really big and I don't know what to do so <laughs> That's another downside of having my nipple pierced. So, I mean, all in all, after a year, only three real downsides, and none of them are really a problem. It's just kind of there, which is fine with me. Um, so that is pretty much my update, guys, for my nipple. Sorry it was late. Sorry it wasn't good. <laughs> but this is what it is. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys next time. Bye!